thanks Jason. Let's Jason Herbert from Auckland in New Zealand and we hand back to him for some more sound demos in a second. I'll just show you this. This is the phase four and the phaser has depth, speed, sweep and resonance and a range switch and it's super versatile. Has true bypass switching with a soft relay touch switch. Jacks are on top, input output 9 volts so that saves you great space on the pedal board because you can mount them right close together and you can always reach the cables no hassle. And it's a really great sounding, very versatile phaser. I'll hand you back to Jason. Kia ora everyone, uh, I'm here checking out the phase 4 phaser from uh, Big Noise Amplification down in Nelson. Thank you Stefan. Um, I'm just going to play through a few, a few kind of ideas and um, tweak the settings as I go and sort of talk about them and um, show you how versatile this thing is. Great, a, just a great subtle funk sound. Um, if I tweak um, the sweep, so I'm going to turn it all the way uh, clockwise and get it a little bit deeper, get something slightly less subtle. Uh, I suppose, isn't it? So this is all the way, all the way counterclockwise, the sweep and the resonance all the way counter. It's got this great sort of classic spacey phaser thing about it. which um, I've got this set fairly high, we go subtly now, very subtle sound, which is awesome. Um, the kicker is this range, this range pot, um, if I set it to the middle, it's a very very subtle sound, more so again, and if I set it to the right, well, it's a whole new world of phasey goodness. Weird, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So much more along the uh, intense end of the spectrum. What if I get... Uh, so this is all the resonance. Get some quite cool sounds if I bring the speed way back on the setting, resonance in the sweep way up. You get this. Yeah, great. Uh, so let me just say, Jason recorded it just with his iPhone. He promised me, Jason, if you hear this, I'm waiting for it. He promised me to do a proper recording into his computer at some point when he can. So I'm looking forward to that and I will post it for you guys. With, um, let's try with a little bit of dirt. Maybe a little bit of delay as well, because that's always nice. Uh... Wow. 
wild. I also wanted to share my experience with with this guy here. This is an Eventide H9, which I've used for the last couple of years before that. So I haven't had a dedicated phaser uh, on my board for, for ages and ages, because there's a reasonably good one in here. But A being, and I will do this in a future video actually, for just to, to really get my point across. A being the reasonably good phaser in this with the incredibly good phaser that is this. Uh, it's just it's just night and day. So this thing is gonna have to have to live on my board now and something else will have to make way for it. Yeah, get your hands on some New Zealand made stuff and see if you like it. I'm pretty confident you will. Cheers.